Hey everyone, I'm Airwing Marine. Welcome to the channel and my next Escape from Tarkov video. Today we're going to go through the hideout and what is the most profitable things to craft. And this is regardless of what level your character is, what level your hideout is, or what level your traders are. So first things first, let's get a few ground rules out of the way. First off, I compare items in a ruble per hour profit metric. This is how I get so many different crafts apples to apples and show you what truly makes you the most money. Some crafts will actually make you more money than others, but they might take twice as long to do it. So in the long run, you make less money crafting those versus some of the items I recommend. Also, this is early wipe, so prices are very volatile and things are gonna change fast. So always double check what I'm telling you before you go buy a bunch of components. And lastly, as a rule of thumb, don't stack crafted materials in the same module. For example, don't craft green gunpowder and then use that crafted green gunpowder to make BP ammo if your goal is to make more money. Doing this actually reduces how much money you make overall if you just stick with making one craft. And one last thing before we get started, verify this is the latest video. I do upgrade these frequently, especially when there's big changes in the market, and I don't want you doing stuff based off of bad information. All right, so first up is the med station. And hopping into here, right now, if you only have a level one, the two things you can make to make money are Salewas and AI2s. Yes, I know it sounds weird saying making AI2s, but you can make a little bit of money making these. Right now, I'm crafting them to help level up my crafting skill, and that's primarily the focus of what I'm doing in my hideout right now. But for somebody with level one, either these or Salewas, they'll make you about the same amount of money. The advantage to Salewas is, though, that making those means you don't have to buy them. And since you can make them for about 16000 you're making them for a lot less than if you bought them straight away. At level two, pile of meds are really what you want to make. Right now, Augmentin is very, very cheap. Uh, less than 10k as I look as I make this video. As long as you're getting it for that, for less than 10,000 rubles, and you're selling your, your pile of meds for over 8,000, you'll be making decent money. At level three, not much is making a huge profit out of purely purchased materials. If you can get soap or shampoo cheaper than market prices right now, you can still scratch a little profit out of Vaseline's. However, there is one trick. If you use Golden Stars in Raid, don't use them up. Save them at like one or two uses, then use them to craft propitols. By doing this and selling the propitols at over 17k, you can essentially make all your money back from the Golden Star since you net a little over 60k in profit and a little bit more if you have a level 3 Intel Center. This is what I do. And frequently I actually sell my propitols for north of 19 or 20,000. Now with the nutrition unit, you can't make money here at level 1 anymore. But at level 2, you can make a little bit of money by crafting condensed milks, Slickers bars, or Wilston cigarettes. A lot of people like the Wilston cigarette craft because they can use that for the barter for the geared out M1A that you can get from loyal to level 3 mechanic. The condensed milk craft, uh, you just sell these to therapists. Unless you see them selling for over 17k, which they occasionally do. Get your sugar for less than 20k and your milk jugs for less than 21 and you'll scratch out about 4k in profit. The slicker bars are a little bit more complex, but make you a little bit more money. Again, get your sugar for less than 20k, your oat flakes for less than 11, and your crackers for less than 11. And you can sell the bars for about 7,500 each. At level 3, you can actually make some decent money here with hot rods. Get your purified water for around 125k, again sugar for less than 20k, coffee for less than 13, and tea for less than 18. Then sell the hot rods for 11.5 or more, and you'll be good. If you have your water collector and your booze generator up and running, this is really good. You're going to be able to make a lot of money. And the water collector is a good source of it. Right now, with as cheap as filters are at, there's nothing else you should do but sell your water. You actually net more profit just selling your water right now than you do trying to use it to craft aquamarines or moonshine. You can go check out the spreadsheet for my prices, but you end up making a little less money by converting it than you do just selling it. Moonshine is going to go all over the place, but it's going to be profitable no matter what for the foreseeable future. Just make sure you get your crafted water for 130k or less, and your sugars for 20k or less, and you'll scratch out a little profit here, even though Moonshine is pretty cheap right now. At Lavatory level 1, you have one of the most consistent crafts in the game. This is the Scav Backpack. If all you have is a Lavatory at level 1, this is what you should be crafting. It's easy and consistent. You get your fleece for less than 15k and your ripstop for less than 7k, then sell your backpacks for over 16.5. And if you're patient, usually most nights now, you can push these over 17k. At level 2, your options start to open up. Your most profitable item to craft is still corrugated hoses. Take advantage of this while you can. The prices have been constantly falling for the last two weeks and will eventually bottom out below a profitable level. Now, if you look at crafting mag boxes the way I do, then you can actually make some money with those. I use expeditionary fuel tanks on my generator. When they burn up, I pull them out and turn them into mag boxes. 
I don't count the cost of the fuel in the craft since I'm using it to run my hideout. Regardless if you look at it like this or not, you will make money with magazine cases though. So they are a good thing to craft when you log out at the end of the day. Shampoo can make you money as well, but unless you're getting your soaps very cheap or you use non-found and raid ones, it's not your best option. Now over here at the scav case, wait, did you hear that? What's that? Oh, that's the like button. You should definitely hit that right now and help out the channel. Come on, I'm not moving anywhere till you do. Okay. Intel runs give you a good shot at some of the most expensive keys in the game. Moonshine is really cheap right now and can land you hard to find streamer items and other high level gear. And the money runs will almost always break even or make you money. So choose the run that gives you what you're looking for. Intel for keys, moonshine for streamer items and high tier loot, and the money runs to make yourselves a little extra cash. Now I'm not going to talk about the Bitcoin farm because obviously it makes you money. If you can get it, get it, fill it as fast as you can. The Intel Center, however, hands down, the best thing to make is VPXs. Nothing else even comes close to making the amount of money you make with these. Especially while phones and RAM are cheap, which they won't say that way for long. Now, if you have non-found and raid thumb drives, Intel is a smart craft as well, but you will be cutting your profits in half versus making VPXs. Now, the workbench has a ton of choices, but I'm just going to cover the most profitable ones. At level 1 right now, VOGs are your absolute number 1 best craft. In fact, VOGs are the best craft, period, regardless of what level you have. They're making you the best profit out of all of the items in here. Plus, they only take about an hour to craft, which helps out with your level and your skills a little bit. Get your fuses below 10k and your grenades for less than 12k. Then sell the grenades in big batches for over 19k, and you'll be sitting pretty. Close behind this, however, is wires at level 1. Get your cables for under 25k and sell your wires for over 12.5. If you're trying to make money and level up your hideout skills, cycle between these two crafts. That's what I'm doing right now. At level 2, again, VOGs are still number 1, but you have a few more options than just wires to make more money. You can make the 9x19 AP63 and the 9x18 PBM for a little bit more profit than the wires. And if you're using tons of 9 mil ammo, this is a great way to keep your ammo stocked up and is much cheaper than buying it off the market. Plus, both of the crafts only require one component from the market and the others from the vendors. With the decrease in prices from higher tier ammo we've seen in the last week, level 3 doesn't really give you any more profitable crafts than level 2. But it does open up more options should you get out of raid with non-found and raid items. The big one here being the OFZ shells. If you die with an OFZ shell that's not found in raid, you can use it to make either RGD5 grenades or M995 ammo and maximize your profit from that item. But otherwise, you should stick with VOGs and wires, or AP63 and PBM ammo, which is my personal favorite, to make yourself the most money. Now, I have a little bit of bonus advice for those of you that hung around this long. You're watching longer, hitting the like button, and posting comments helps the channel out more than you guys can understand. I owe my insane growth in the last couple of months to folks like you. So here are some of my more closely held secrets that are going to help you make more money in the hideout. First, if you want to make a ton of money in the hideout, get Shooter Born in Heaven done. What it does is it opens up a craft for you that nobody else can do and make money with anymore. And that's the Scav Junk Box. If you look, right now, mag cases are selling for 360 to 365. You can buy them from Mechanic for 263. You buy three of those at each site. Well, you buy one at each cycle, but you buy three of those. And you can do that in the time it takes you to craft a junk box. You turn that into a junk box and you're going to make a ton of money. But this won't last forever. Mag boxes are going to continually get cheaper as people get the ones they need and more people can craft them. The second one is don't just sell your crafted items once you craft them. Invest in a couple of containers and store things that you craft so you can sell them at the higher market prices. Most of the time at night, though not with everything. So for example, right now moonshine is insanely cheap. I'm not selling my moonshine. I'm just hanging on to it. And let me get down to my holodink. You can see here, I'm just popping them in here as I do them. Now, some crafts I do sell right away just because I'm getting them out of the way or I'm crafting them to level up my hideout skill. But when it comes to gunpowders, grenades, ammo, it's almost always better to sell them in big batches higher than the market price. People will almost always pay more money for that. This is true with things like Aquamarines too. During the week, these are cheap. And for whatever reason, on Saturdays and Sundays, they increase by 20, 30, sometimes even 50%. And this has been the case for as long as I can remember. So what I do is I craft Aquamarines during the week. I don't constantly craft them, but I get 30 or 40 of them. And then I list them for sale Saturday evening. 
Then by Sunday morning, they're all sold. I made 23, 24,000 on each of them versus the 18 they sell during the week right now. And I make way more money than even my spreadsheet shows. The third one is push your skills as fast as you can. Now, it's easy for me to say because I play a lot more than most people do. But because of this, when you level your skills up, it actually increases how much money you make in your hideout by quite a bit. The faster crafting skill, along with when you do finally get elite and you can craft two items at once, is a massive amount of money that you can make in your stash while you're not playing. And there's even a couple of tricks I'm not going to go into here where you can manage your stash while you're not even home. And the last one is have fun with this. If you're getting burnt out on crafting or it just seems like too much work, give up on it for a little while. I do this almost every week. I shift to crafting green gunpowders. I ignore my nutrition unit. I might make a couple of scav backpacks. And then I just make meds that I'm gonna use in raid versus trying to make money. Don't stress this too much or it takes the fun out of it. So that pretty much wraps up those tips. I hope you guys found these useful. I hope they help out. I hope I'm providing a little bit of insight that makes your Tarkov experience a little less dick punchy. Well, that wraps up the video. I hope you guys liked it. If so, make sure you hit that like button. It helps out a ton with the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you haven't yet, subscribe so you see when new content shows up. I stream on Twitch most weeknights, so come by and say hi there if you want to. And we have a Discord full of chilled, laid-back people who love to help out and answer questions, as well as brag about some of our awesome loot. So the link for that's down in the description too, so you can join there if you want to. Lastly, as always, thank you guys for watching the video. Your support is amazing and helps out in more ways than you guys can imagine. So with that, we'll wrap it up and we'll see you in Tarkov.